the 80s, that glorious time in history where video games were becoming mainstream, computers were starting to become a part of everyday life, and cartoons are crazier than you would ever believe. Companies at the time were figuring out that the key to marketing their products was to pump 30 minute long animated advertisements directly into the eyes and ears of children every Saturday morning. And it was awesome! It seemed like every toy, movie, or whatever random product had an animated counterpart to take product sales to another level. Shows like G.I. Joe, Transformers, and Ninja Turtles, some of the biggest franchises from the 80s, were developed specifically to sell toys. Constantly introducing new characters and settings that you would find days later in the form of action figures and playsets. Merchandising was at an all-time high, and as a child, you reaped the benefits. Hey there, I'm Geek Dad, and today we're going to be diving into the trenches and digging up some of the most insane forgotten cartoons of the 80s. Whether it be a product tie-in, or just a really weird concept, these cartoons represent some of the insanity that the 80s were all about. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is the Top 10 Forgotten 80s Cartoons. Number 10. The Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Hey, paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. This cartoon is actually one of the more well-known entries on the list, but it needed to be represented here for the sake of nostalgia alone. Part live action, part cartoon, this show featured professional wrestler Lou Albano and actor Danny Wells as the titular Mario Brothers, with a wide range of celebrity cameos from the entertainment industry. The show would start and end with a live action sequence that would be neatly wrapped up each week, with an animated Mario adventure sandwiched in between. These animated pieces were usually episodic and took some sort of well-known fairy tale or movie premise and retold it with a Super Mario twist. Although the show may not hold up entirely today, it is still a blast to look back on, if not for the theme song alone. Hey, and who can forget the Mario dance? Number 9. Rubik the Amazing Cube Yep, believe it or not, this was the thing that actually existed. Yep, I'm not going to get into depth with this one, but you can probably guess the show was created to capitalize on the popularity of the Rubik's Cube and to sell boatloads more of them. Basically, the show was about a flying magical cube who could only come to life when all of his colors were matched up and the puzzle was solved. The show had a bit of a Latin flair to it, and the theme song was performed by the boy band Menudo, which is the group that Ricky Martin started off in. Number 8. Gilligan's Planet Wanting to cash in on the space craze of the late 70s and early 80s, the cartoon saw the maroon cast of Gilligan's Island marooned this time in space. That's right, apparently in an attempt to escape the island, Gilligan and Professor and the rest of the crew built a scrappy do-it-yourself spaceship and found themselves still lost, but this time inside of a spaceship zipping through the galaxy. Why this is even a thing is unexplainable to me, but nonetheless, it's, it's pretty amazing. Number 7. Potato Head Kids Even to this day, Mr. Potato Head remains a popular children's toy. Whether it be from the Toy Story franchise or just owning one themselves, everybody has at least passing familiarity with the brand. Back in the mid-80s, in an effort to sell more toys within the brand, Hasbro decided to release a line of mini-spuds and create a cartoon to coincide with it. The show featured Mr. Potato Head as the adult father-type figure to a group of small children potatoes. The entire idea of this was a silly one, but I have memories of watching this as a child, and I had a few toys based upon it as well. Number 6. Ghostbusters Nope, not those Ghostbusters. Filmation's Ghostbusters. Back before the 1984 film, there was a live-action TV show called The Ghostbusters. This show aired back in 1975 and followed the ghost-capturing exploits of two men, Kong and Spencer, as well as their lovable sidekick, Tracy the Gorilla. This cartoon has a similar concept to the aforementioned show, although the story centers around the adventures of Kong and Spencer's children, along with the return of Tracy the Gorilla. When the 1984 film Ghostbusters came out, they actually had to buy the rights to the name, and this cartoon coming out after the movie caused a bit of confusion. Which brings me to the next cartoon on the list. Number 5. The Real Ghostbusters This show's title is a product of Filmation's Ghostbusters bursting onto the scene, in an effort to avoid audience confusion. Make no mistake, this was in fact the real Ghostbusters. The TV show actually picks up right where the first movie left off, and even ties in nicely with the second Ghostbusters film. One of the major things you'll notice is these Ghostbusters look very different from their movie counterparts. Not only do the character designs differ greatly from the original characters, but they also receive individual color-coded jumpsuits instead of the brown suits from the movie. Overall, this was a decision made to make each character more distinguishable for younger viewers. Although they do not look entirely the same, the spirit of the characters are captured very well. 
In later seasons of the show, it shifted focus to be more kid-friendly, with Slimer as the main protagonist for most of the episodes. Overall, this is a great classic 80s cartoon, which still holds up today. Number 4. Droids Star Wars Droids was an animated television series that features the adventures of C-3PO and R2-D2, who, over the course of their exploits, often find themselves in the company of new masters. This leads to a lot of new adventures. The series is set in the star system of 15 BBY and occurs between Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith and Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. The animation is a bit dated and has a real vintage look to it, but if you're a Star Wars fan like me, it is a fun way to look back on these classic characters. Number 3. Mr. T. I pity the fool who ain't heard of this cartoon. Mr. T is an animated series that aired on NBC on Saturday morning from 1983 to 1986. The cartoon stars Mr. T as a coach to a gymnastics team. Yep, traveling the world while solving various mysteries. Not dissimilar to Scooby-Doo with slightly fewer monsters. At the beginning of each episode, Mr. T would have a live action segment where he would pep talk the viewers and explain what was happening in the series. Mr. T was a huge cultural icon and was huge in the 80s. I mean, who doesn't love Mr. T? And the show was crazy, but it embodies the essence that is T. Number 2. Alf. Who doesn't remember ALF? ALF the animated series, also known Rick and Skip. In nearly every episode, a live-action ALF would appear at the introduction and conclusion of the episode, reading mail from fans. It was a pretty cool show and a classic byproduct of the 80s. Number 1. Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling is a cartoon series that originally aired on CBS Saturday mornings. It took place from 1985 to 1986. This was meant to capitalize on the wrestling craze that carried into the 90s. It featured the animated adventures of popular WWF stars of the time, mainly on Hulk Hogan and his team of wrestlers fighting against a group of bad guy wrestlers led by bagpipe playing Rowdy Roddy Piper. The show followed the typical 80s formula of good guys beating bad guys, and was crazy ridiculous. One interesting thing to note is that the characters on the show were not even voiced by the actual wrestlers they were depicting. Wrestlers traveled most of the time and couldn't make regular recording sessions. This was made up for with the actual live action segments that did feature the actual wrestlers. So that was our top 10 list of forgotten 80s cartoons. The 80s and early 90s were packed with cartoons, and our list just barely scratches the surface of hidden gems out there. So, what do you think? Is there any other shows that you would have added to the list? Do you have an idea for a video topic we should cover next? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It would be very, very appreciated. And as always, this is Geek Dad. Over and out.